Yo, yo, yo. What's good, world? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Gio, man. Back with another one, man. This right here is about your boy Gucci, man. Gucci, man, he done made an announcement, man. He said that he's releasing all of his artists from 1017. He said he's only keeping a few, which is uh, going to be Forgiato and Pooh Shiesty. Pooh Shiesty with the mask. That's who he's keeping. And, uh, yeah, man, it's not looking good for the the artists right now, man. They saying that, you know, Joe Budden was talking about this, too. He was saying about how bad the artist was doing right now. And, you know, they're trying to recoup so they can try to get paid and, they done spent their advance. They done blew it out the water. And, uh, you know, it's hard for them to survive out here, man. And your boy Gucci, man, said he checked his finances and stuff and everything that was going on. Those guys ain't dropping no albums. They're not selling no mixtapes, no records. I don't think. I'm pretty sure they're streaming and doing something. He's not just going to sign them and not let them do completely nothing. But they're not bringing in what he's needing them to bring in, honestly, because if they were selling top not selling like a Drake or Kendrick Lamar or something like that, then, you know, they'd be in the game. So, you know, this is a PSA, man. I just had to put that out there. I don't know how this going to go. Your boy Pooh Shiesty, he's still locked up. So, you know, it's good that Gucci man holding him down, man, through them times that he going through, man. He dropped some hit records. So he already know the potential is there. And once he get out, it's going to be a rap. He already know there's going to be one artist that's going to really be hitting and taking it off. You know, Forgiato, I'm pretty sure too. Forgiato, he be spitting them balls, man. He got them balls. And I, I go hard because I'm nice at, you know, rapping as well too. So for me, you got to bring something to the table, man. You know, um, Ain't nothing like back in the days, man, where we had the inspiration. That's how we got our talent and stuff, man. Some of these new guys just ain't bringing it, man. You know, it's a select a few people that's bringing it now that, you know, I would say, yeah, you know, I can get some inspiration from that. That's something I can listen to, you know. Um, But, uh, yeah, man, I know they, some said that they was happy. One uh, went online and he was talking about it. it was cool for him or whatnot, but. I mean, he probably got the clout anyway, so he's going he gonna to run with the clout, you know, that he got from being on the label. That's another thing, too. A lot of people don't make a lot of records, a lot of sales and stuff like that, a lot of money. But once the rec- uh, the deal is over, the record deal is over, they can recoup that because now they have that, that push, you know, from being uh, around those people. And, you know, they have that clout, so they take that clout and run with it and make something out of it, you know, online. But, uh it ain't looking good right now for 1017, man. Gucci said he he's slimming down the roster, man. And honestly, he know what he's doing because he's been in the game for a long time, man. And he know what he's talking about. And the reason why he's doing it has got to be a good reason as well. So I just had to let y'all know that, man. And y'all got to check out this video. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. Drop in the comments, man. Like and subscribe, man. Appreciate all the love and support as always, man. Run them subscribers up. Subscribe, subscribe, man. Hit that button for me, man. And uh, I'm going to bring y'all this content, man, and the updates as well as it comes out, man. And I receive it. And uh, y'all just stay tuned to the next one, man. Stay safe, stay warm, man. Peace and, and love, man. I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one. I'm out. Hey, what's up, y'all? Listen, I wanted to make this announcement on 1017 yesterday, but I just seen like like my statement, my p l with all my artists. You know, it's almost like a whole bunch of shakeup and it's a whole shit show in the industry right now. But when I'm looking at my p l and me being a businessman, I think that I'm going to have to release almost all my artists, except for Pooh and Fujiano. This is a decision I didn't want to make. Um, I thought about it. You know what I'm saying? I could keep all of them under the contract. But I said, hey, fuck it. The, let's just make the, you know, the unselfish decision and, you know, let them take their talents elsewhere. So today, you know what I'm saying? I already reached out to all of my artists, you know what I'm saying, from their, to their lawyers and whatever, and let them know that they're free to take their talents elsewhere. And I'm still looking for new talent to pair up with, you know what I'm saying, Pooh and Foo, and that's where I'm going to put my focus. And I just wish them the best. And I just want to let everybody know that because, hey, that's where we at. But like, look, did what I wanted, you know. I ain't tripping, you feel me? I've been talking about this shit the last past two, three days. I don't give a flying fuck. You know what I'm saying? Niggas know what to do for that truth come out. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't got to pay nothing back there for sure. Yeah, no, 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 no
whatever the debt is, I'm just, the debt just gonna be the debt. So the streets want to know why all your 1017 artists keep going to jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's how we're going to start. Yes, sir. Well, you know what I'm saying? To be honest, you know, I was one of those type of artists. I was always going back and forth to jail. And um, I try to, you know what I'm saying, like help those artists that I feel like, you know, I see a lot of myself in. You know what I'm saying? Right. So with that being said, you know, I try to ride out with them through their little bumps or whatever they're going through. but. I feel like if I'm not helping them, who else going to help them? Right. You know what I'm saying? Nobody says that part of the story. You know what I'm saying? So the artist you sign basically reminds you of your story. They definitely have a story to tell. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely, they come from the trenches. They come from, you know, uh, you know, poverty. So, you know, I want to help them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I can relate to them. I know what they got, what, uh, I know what they got going on. So you what exactly happened with that situation? Did you walk away? Was it a situation where you got dropped? What was it? Um, I would say on a mental note, I'm not even going to lie. I kind of mentally clocked out. Got you. Months prior to me getting released. And it wasn't more so because of 1017 or Gucci. It had nothing to do with them. It was more so having, you know, a major label on top of that, getting involved and putting people in charge who shouldn't be in charge. And, you know, we just didn't click. Me and the people they appointed with me at the bigger label didn't click. And it was kind of like, at the time, I wasn't, it wasn't that I wasn't able to drop music. It was that, like, everybody was in, when you have the major label involved, they're the ones who get to say when stuff drop and when stuff don't drop. Mm -hmm. And we was all in that situation. And at the time I wasn't dropping. So, you know, I could have dropped a number one record, could have went gold, could have went platinum. And things probably would have been a little different right now. Mm. But the fact that I feel like I wasn't getting as much traction, um, you know, as some of the other artists, I felt like I didn't have any power in the situation. So it's just like, okay, do you kiss these people ass or do you put your foot down and say, you ain't gonna fucking try to control me and talk to me crazy because I'm gonna put you in your place. And you know, right before everything happened, I had someone tell me that you need us and I'm gonna show you exactly that you need us and see what I do to you. Uh -uh. And next thing you know, I was released. So Damn. shout out to him because you know, I got something for your ass. <laughs> yeah. 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 I stamped it. I said I can't feel my body, but she ain't getting shit out of none of these pockets. No, she ain't getting shit. Feels got it. Yeah. I can really be your plug. All we gotta do is lock you. Yeah. Body guard him. Talking to the man inside my mirror. Say you are him. But Oh, yeah. they're gonna fuck you up right here. Wait. Oh. He's up, let go. In your book, you 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 gave the Migos to P. I didn't give them to P. Okay, correct me. Yeah, um, I did. You know, put him, put them together. Yeah, cause that was they was your artists. Yeah, I signed them first. Yeah, yeah. I found them and I put them with Coach K and then uh, to manage them. And then when I was about to get locked up or whatever, you know, we had a conversation, me and P and the Migos. And, you know, they was they wanted to go somewhere else, basically. I couldn't help them. And P wanted to be there. He, you know, he, shit. I ain't seen nobody better than my buddy. And then, you know, what was respectful about it, we had a conversation. Mm -hmm. So not only did I, you know, we arranged it, shit, we was in full support of it to this day. That's the beautiful thing. You had Young Thug at 1.2. Yeah. You said you, you let him go do his thing because you couldn't do nothing for him at the time. I was locked up. Mm -hmm. I was locked up. He was still signed to me, you know. And shit, he was the hottest thing out. I ain't want to hold him back, you know what I'm saying? And he, he he wanted to go other places, so I wanted to help him. But do you feel like it's a 1017 curse? What you mean about the curse? Tell me the curse you fit. Or you... Well, it's this it's this thing. We, you know, young Ma, we had a, him up here. He a homie, just a few homies. You know, it's it's this thing where people feel like with ten seventeen, it's a curse. It's a it's a cloud sometimes, like where somebody might pass or somebody might get locked up. Like, yeah, look at it. See, I don't look at it like that though. I ain't gonna well, tell me how you look at it. I really look at it like, and when, and when bro gave more for opportunity, 
he got everybody an opportunity. Like, sure. really, in real life, like, brother, half the rapper this, bro, gave these four opportunities and shit. So, like, with with the curse, people saying, we ain't just gonna try to make the curse like it just, uh, ah, bro, everybody he signed, they die, or they go to jail. Motherfuckers just making the wrong decisions, you know, they, or it's really their choice of living, you know? He can't control everything the motherfucker doing or what's going on, cause motherfuckers ain't seeing, bro. Niggas ain't seeing Gucci, niggas ain't seeing Wap. He'll call and check up on you, see how you living, make sure you scrape your knees, so I said, it, but it's on your head. Like, it's, I'm like, sorry for a lot of shit that going on, a lot of our artists, but motherfuckers gonna get their life together when they, like, they already saw it, like, they done fucked up already. Nigga ain't trying to fuck up no more, so I, me, I ain't fuck, I ain't trying to fuck up, nigga. I got Come with this shit, fam. Me, I ain't going. Hell nah, I ain't going like this. I be fucked up. Like, I be fucked up, bro. I be fucked up and mad at myself. Yeah. And I let myself fuck up and mm. go out like how other motherfuckers going out. She what I'm saying? And, I did that. And it, and it be motherfucker entourage, too. She what I'm saying? Absolutely. Motherfucker entourage, let them do certain shit. Yeah. She what I'm saying? I got a nigga around me every day, bro. Yo, ass gonna leave the block because we, man, fuck this shit. We let your ass sit in the hood with her then. You wanna sit in the hood, sit in the hood with her then. Yeah. See what I'm saying? A nigga like me. Yeah, now I'm scoping the hood getting away from me, you know. All the motherfuckers, it just be mm -hmm. curses and shit. I feel y'all. I, I be the blonde shit makes you sound real, real bad. Mm -hmm. Real, real bad. But on the eye, I heard ten seventeen the biggest. Alright, we big from around the hoe. No right. Then how everybody be like, my Gucci did, Gucci did, my Gucci did nigga. Alright, you can't cool him. Like, yeah. it ain't no place, bro, stepping out to it. And before it's like coming outside. Big Gucci.